Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon and welcome. Welcome to One Voice, our first ever Bella Voce virtual concert. My name is Cynthia Young and I am the director of Bella Voce. We have been missing so much being able to offer live concerts this year, especially at the Goodwin House. We have been missing our Goodwin House concerts the most. So it is such a joy to finally come together again with you, our community of family and friends, to sing. This concert is called One Voice because when we sing together, we feel that we are singing as one. One in harmony, one in hope, one in sisterhood. The 11 singers who are Bella Voce have stayed connected this year thanks to Zoom. And we have made music all year long by creating several virtual choir videos, which we're going to be sharing with you during this concert. Before we jump in, I would like to suggest that you set your Zoom view setting to speaker view. That way, I think you will get a better view of whoever is speaking or the videos that we will be playing. As we were planning this concert, we wanted to find a way to give back to our community. So we decided that in lieu of selling tickets, we want to suggest that anyone who would like to contribute to our efforts should instead please make a donation to Doorways for Women and Families. Doorways is a truly wonderful organization established right here in Arlington back in 1978. Doorways creates pathways out of homelessness, domestic violence, and sexual abuse empowering families in crisis to achieve safe and stable lives. Maggie, who is our usher today in the chat room, will be posting a link to Doorways in the chat in case you would like at any point to make a donation. I would like now to introduce to you all 11 singers of Bella Voce. They are Kate Kelly, Christy Meacham, B. Ann Phillips, Tanya Week, Layla Carney, Tessa Caballero, Maggie Siddle, Fiona Cahill, Ashley Mattia, and Molly Stevenson. Thank you all so much. I couldn't be more grateful and proud to call you my friends and my singing colleagues. I also want to thank our technical director and Zoom mastermind and my good friend, Beth Di Pasquale. Beth has been working hard behind the scenes to get everything ready for this program today, and she will be running the technical aspect of our concert. When Beth heard that we were hoping to raise funds for doorways, she immediately volunteered her time, and we are very grateful. Thank you, Beth. We are going to start our program by sharing with you the very first virtual video that we made last spring. Hold Me, Rock Me by Brian Tate. We released this video on Mother's Day of 2020. In a time of great uncertainty, this song brought us much hope and comfort. Hold me, rock me, calm and easy. Hold me, rock me, deep and wide. Hold me, rock me, me in your arms, oh, I got a home on the other side. Hold me, rock me, calm and easy. Hold me, rock me, deep and wide. Oh, hold me, rock me. Do, do, do. 
Hello, everyone. My name is Tanya Wyke. Thank you again so much for joining us this afternoon. The next song that we'd like to share is Over the Rainbow by Harold Arlen. So this is the second video that we put together last summer. And it was during a time when we were all looking for some hope and some optimism. Over the Rainbow is a song that has long been associated with hope. You know, talking about a place where dreams really do come true and a place where the clouds are far behind us. So I hope you enjoy Bella Voce's rendition of this song and that it continues to provide a sweet reminder of what's possible and to keep on dreaming. Do My name is Kate Kelly, and we are so glad to have you joining us this afternoon. Our next piece is called What Happens When a Woman, and it's written by the Chicago-based women's trio Artemisia. The performance that we uh, put together last summer was a collaboration with the UU Church in Reston, where Cynthia is the music director, and it features friends and family from around the world. We put this, um, this song together to celebrate the 100th anniversary of the 19th Amendment, which celebrates the women's right to vote. And that 100th anniversary occurred last August. Um, we really hope you enjoy this rendition of what happens when a woman. Takes power. What happens when she walks back? 
Stevenson, and I'm pleased to announce the next piece in our program. This was a song I used to perform ages ago as an undergraduate at Michigan State University when I sang in a women's a cappella group called Ladies First. The song, I Will Love You, was actually written by one of my co singers in that group. But this version, I had the privilege of singing the lower two parts. And my daughter, Michaela Fenn, who is an undergraduate at Northwestern University, recorded the upper two parts. I dedicate the next song, I Will Love You, I Will Love you to all my friends and family whose love helped me get through all the challenges of the past year. I will love you. I will love you.
beautiful Molly and Michaela. Thank you so much. Um, I am so thrilled that we have right here in my very own living room, our very own Jeff Hamlin, our most beloved friend and the fantastic pianist who has accompanied many of our Bella Voce concerts in the past. So, yay, welcome, Jeff. And uh, now that we are both fully vaccinated, we are actually here together uh, making music. It's really very awesome and exciting. So mm -hmm. we're going to do um, the song Heather on the Hill from the musical Brigadoon. And I picked this song because it reminds me of how much I love to walk out in nature. And my husband David and I have been doing many, many long walks during this year in COVID. It's something I look forward to almost every day with him walking through our neighborhood parks. And um, so this song will always kind of remind me of that aspect of this year. <clears throat> Heather on the Hill. Can't we two go walking together? Yeah, that was really great <laughs> and so exciting to have Jeff back. 
Um, so I'm here to introduce the next song. Um, this next song is going to be our, Will the Circle Be Unbroken? Uh, this is a traditional Appalachian folk song that many of you um, may be familiar with. This particular version is arranged by J. David Moore. Um, and we, this is another one we put together as part of our virtual choir um, during the lockdown. We really enjoyed this one due to both the hopeful message and all the various harmonies and counter melodies that are included in this arrangement. And we hope you enjoy. I'm back to introduce the next piece. This is a song that I recorded also with my daughter, Michaela, and it's one that many of you probably know. Many have, have sung during the Christmas holidays, and we're moving up to that point of the year in our um, repeat of last year um, and our work through the different music. The piece is called Dona Nobis Pacham, and we'll first sing it in unison, 
And then we can, we're gonna move into a three part round. If you'd like to sing along, please do. Dona nobis pacem or grant us peace. Dona nobis pacem pacem. Dona nobis 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 pacem, pacem. Dona nobis pacem. Dona nobis pacem, pacem. Phillips. As we moved into month nine of the pandemic, we were all feeling the loss of not being with family and friends for the upcoming holidays. And we figured a lot of other folks were feeling the same way. So we decided it was time to focus on some fun, to beat back our blues with something fun and cheerful. It was our hope that this next piece would lift our spirits and bring joy and laughter to those who needed it as much as we did. And we hope it lifts your spirits today as well. Please enjoy We Need a Little Christmas by Jerry Herman. Next, 
I am, uh, I'm going to be doing um, Anyone Can Whistle from the musical of the same name by Stephen Sondheim. from Jeff there. Hi, everyone. Um, for those who don't know me, my name is Tessa Cavallaro. Um, this next song is one that I recorded um, by a group called Avriel and the Sequoias, um, which was formed by Avi Kaplan after his departure from the well-known acapella pop group Pentatonix, which some of you might have heard of, um, so that he could focus on writing and creating the kind of music that um, he felt most compelled to do. Um, the song is called Quarter Past Four, and it's one of his songs in particular that has resonated with me um, because it shares the message of perseverance and being thankful for what you have. So here's my acapella stripped down version of Quarter Past Four by Avriel and the Sequoias. Quarter past four and my eyes, but I can never rest my mind, thinking where I'm going to and where I've been, while a thousand other worries are floating in the wind, and I can't keep them all. But it turns out fine, it turns out fine. And I can't keep them all away, but it turns out fine, it turns out fine.
Never really thought I'd get to see this day. When my heart is in the future, while my body rides the wave. Thankful every day I get to rise again. When my eyes start to open as the sunlight warms my skin. And I have troubles every day, but it turns out fine, it turns out fine. And I fight to keep them all away, but it turns out It turns out fine. Thank you, Tessa, for that beautiful song. I don't know about the rest of the Bellas, but I'm secretly hoping we get to program that in our future for all of us to perform because it is so very lovely. And I had never heard it before. So thank you for introducing us to it. Um, next up on our program, I will be singing a solo called Times Are Hard for Dreamers. This song comes from the 2015 musical Amelie, which is based on the film of the same name, which some of you might remember from 2001. This, uh, this story is of a young woman who grew up socially isolated in rural France, um, social isolation being a thing that we all know quite a bit about these days. And this song occurs near the beginning of the musical um, as Amelie takes charge of her life and ventures out into the world, as I hope we will all begin doing and are starting to do as the world opens back up to us. I hope you enjoy Times Are Hard for Dreamers.
was absolutely beautiful and inspiring. Thank you so much. So um, we're going to do a sing-along now from Oklahoma, one of my very favorite songs, Oh, What a Beautiful Morning. So Jeff and I are going to lead the sing-along and the words will be um, on your screens, on a slide, the words to the chorus. So we thought that might be easiest. So when we get to the chorus, please just jump in and belt it out and uh, sing along with us. Last year has been rough in many ways for a lot of people. For me, focusing on gratitude really helped get me through it. And so this next video is a culmination of the events and experiences for which the Bellas have been so very grateful. Those things that carried us through this pandemic and what better piece to help tell the story than Amazing Grace. This version was arranged by Ron Jeffers and was recorded at one of our live concerts in 2019. I hope you enjoy it.
um, the next video we're going to show you is actually something that we recorded here in our living room um, just a few weeks ago when we finally got to the point where we felt like we could gather together to sing again. We rehearsed outside um, and then with masks on and we came in uh, wearing our masks and made this recording. Um, this song is called One Voice and it is the theme of our concert. So um, I think we just did one take or maybe two takes. <laughs> anyway, um, we, hope, we hope you enjoy it. It was a, a big moment for us. This is the sound of one voice, one spirit, one voice, the sound of one who makes a choice. This is the sound of one voice, this is the sound of one voice. This is the sound of voices too. The sound of me singing with you, helping each other to make it through. This is the sound of voices too. This is the sound of voices too. This is the sound of voices three, singing together in harmony, surrendering to the mystery. This is the sound of voices three. This is the sound of My name is Ashley Mataya, and I actually joined Belle Voce in March of 2020, right before the pandemic. So we got to rehearse twice, uh, maybe in person, and all of the other, um, my other interaction has all been virtual. So to, for me personally, being a part of this group has been a lifesaver during the past year. And this next song, How Can I Keep From Singing, arranged by Gwyneth Walker, um, it draws a pretty close parallel to some of the challenges we faced over the past year. Uh, and yet we still sang together um, for you um, and most importantly for ourselves. So uh, I hope you enjoy this next piece.
song of the afternoon for you today. It is making its debut here. Um, and it's a brand new, never before heard piece, even to Bella Boce. Um, this is the second song in our program that was done in collaboration with the Unitarian Church in Reston. And uh, we greatly appreciate them and the UCR choir for their contributions. Um, Light of Clear Blue Morning by Dolly Parton, as performed by the Whalen Jennies, um, felt particularly appropriate to sing as our final virtual performance. Um, as more and more people are able to get vaccinated and the light at the end of this pandemic seems to finally be in our sights. So with that, we hope you enjoy our rendition of Light of the Clear Blue Morning featuring the wonderful UCR choir soprano soloist, Lena Michaela Miles. just the perfect way to end our program today, thinking about um, the light of the clear blue morning coming very, very soon. So we are very grateful for that. And we are very grateful for all of you 
Thank you so much for spending this hour with us um, in song. And I would like to also thank our video editor, Jesse Leong, who um, audio mixed and video edited all of our videos this year. Uh, he did a fantastic job and we could never have done all of this without him. So thank you so much to Jesse. Thank you to Beth Di Pasquale again, our fantastic technical director who did such a wonderful job today making everything so smooth. Thank you, Beth. Thank you to our good friend, Jeff. I am so excited to just be sitting here next to him in person, in the flesh. It's just wonderful. Thank you, Jeff, for being here and singing and playing for us. Um, Maggie's going to put the donation link one more time into the chat box. Um, we hope that you um, will find a moment to donate to this wonderful organization called Doorways. Um, we are going to be singing together this summer, rehearsing for a new program that we are very much hoping to present to you in person at the Goodwin House in September. So inshallah for that, that is the plan. And we can't wait to see you and sing for you in person. So thank you for being here and have a lovely rest of your afternoon. Bye.